Quick shout out to my Patreons who keep this channel going. You can join my Patreon down in the description below. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the third episode of Cells at Work Code Black. This one's titled Ex uh, Excitement, Expansion and Emptiness. I think we're dealing with the lower half today, I think it's fair to say. Um, so yeah, uh, I realise I am quite a ways behind now because not only are Funimation releasing this two days earlier than the Japanese release, uh, which puts it on a uh, Friday release for me, which is just not gonna work. <laughs> um, if Fridays are busy enough as it is. Um, they also, well, this happened in Japan as well, they broadcast two episodes ahead of time. Uh, so episode three, uh, this episode and episode four were released um, on the 19th or so, uh, ahead of episode five, which also came out this week. So... I'm behind a fair bit. I intend to try and catch up with episode 4 and episode 5 sometime next week. It will likely either be both of them on Tuesday or Thursday, or split one on each, uh, since those are the easiest days for me to add stuff. Uh, those are only free show days uh, as they currently stand, so I might be able to sneak at least one episode in on the Tuesday and then another on the Thursday, or if I'm feeling particularly up to it and I have some time, I can do I can knock them both out on Tuesday and then we can be completely caught up. Um, but for now, I can only do one today because it's a five-show day. And honestly, a five-show day is already kind of tough to fit in. So uh, trying to do any more than that is just not going to happen. So we're going to do episode three uh, today, then Tuesday, Thursday, somewhere around then. Uh, I'll try and get the next ones done. But anyway, last time uh, we started tackling uh, liver and alcohol and how it affects us. Um, we uh, also were in a, a mouth ulcer at one point, which... Ulcers are rough, man. I, I hate having an ulcer. It's been a, well, touch wood. Is there anything wooden nearby? No, <laughs> there's nothing wooden anywhere near me. Um, but yeah, touch wood. I would reach back and hit my table back there. Um, no, I don't get one anytime soon, but they, I used to get them somewhat often as a kid. And they, oh, they are, they are rough. They really are. And it's always, um, I forget the name of that cream that you're meant to put on them and put on the inside. I forget the name of the brand here in the UK, but God, that stuff, oh, it hurt when you had to put it on. And even then, I don't think it even helped that much compared to just letting it heal naturally. It, it was rough. Um, but anyway, uh, that wasn't the main focus of the episode. Main focus was when uh, we ingested alcohol, red blood cells getting drunk, and we essentially went to a cabaret club uh, in the liver, which is kind of like a red light district type place. Uh, to uh, drink, what was it, ADH and then ALDH to detoxify them uh, of the uh, the toxin that's in the alcohol. Um, and our red blood cell is a bit of an angry drunk, it turns out, uh, because he feels like, oh, we're the only ones who have to work hard and all this, but really the liver is overworked to hell because you saw how packed that cabaret club was, so the liver's being overworked as well. Like, everyone's suffering. Every cell in this. I, I don't think there is a single cell in this body that could say they're having a good time. I still can't think of a single cell that would be relatively trouble-free at this point. Like, I can't think of one. Um, but I guess we'll see. Um, one of the elder red blood cells does pass away at this club. Um, and is devoured by a Kupfer cell, apparently? Is that the name of it? I think that's the name of it, to recycle nutrients and stuff. Um, but yeah, the liver's not doing so hot. It's not going to be long. And to make it worse, once they... Uh, next day comes around, they have a hangover because of all the alcohol, uh, and then, because this is a great idea, hair of the dog, drink more alcohol to solve your hangover. I don't think that's a very good idea. I wouldn't recommend that, really. Like, just deal with the hangover and just... Your body will naturally sort itself out. Don't don't add more alcohol, because that's not going to help uh, in the long run. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm enjoying the show. This one, I think, is going to be focused around the lower half and uh, think, like, excitement, excitement, expansion, expansion. Um, I think it's fairly clear we're dealing with a male body at this point, uh, in that case. And emptiness, well, well, the after feeling is never great, is it? Um, yeah, so I think we're going to be dealing with that. Uh, I wonder if this show's going to guilt trip me, because this, depending on how they depict certain cells, they might try and guilt trip me into the, the degeneracy that 
I think we all have. Anyway, I guess we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, um, as per usual, here on YouTube, we do time based form reactions. If you want to see full picture in picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all the picture in picture reactions I do, which is every show this season, uh, a couple of backdated ones, and obviously future seasons as well, and movies for that matter. I'll be bringing some old, older movies back at some point, so we'll see how those go. Um, but yeah, here on YouTube, we have to do time based formats for copyright, so bottom left of the screen, you'll see the time for the episode. I count you down 3 to 1 play. Now, play you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. We are watching this one on Funimation, as per usual, since that's who's licensed it. Uh, Anaplex logo, then Funimation logo to start, so about 12 seconds or logos, give or take. Uh, you can also use Screen Flash on my face or the mic to tell when the season's transitioning. That should help you sync up a bit better as well. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Anaplex. And Funimation. Cheers. Here we go. Yeah, everything's just rusty. Yeah, there's... Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I know, Peter. I really hate this, like, auto tuny vocals. I guess those were hair cells then. Just watched episode 3 of the regular cells at work, and I think those were hair cells that we saw. I haven't met any of those, like, commander cells yet, I don't think. It's like the only ones out of that lineup we haven't really met. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Like that is announced everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if things is more important. It really isn't more important, let's be honest. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, they're really overusing what the cell. Well, it's assuming reproductive processes. Sure. Yep. Mm hmm. Are they going to make a joke about how difficult it is to get it up? Probably. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet, I can guarantee he's not reproducing, is he? 99% chance that he's just masturbating, let's be honest. Because I feel like this show is going to try and guilt trap us into how horrible it is to masturbate. <laughs> uh... What? There's even assholes about red blood cells. Mm hmm. These lines are great out of context, by the way. Hey, white blood cell. Okay. Oh, is that a germ I detect? Don't piss off a white blood cell. <laughs> They're specifically designed to kill and eat you, so... Holy shit. <laughs> God, I love white blood cell. Oh, cool. Hmm. Uh, is this where we're raising sperm cells? Yeah, okay. They're going to make the sperm cells kind of cute, aren't they? And make me feel bad for them. God damn it. Keep the voice down. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, 
boy. <laughs> uh, it still kind of looks a little dumb. Well, not all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have a very important role to play in all this as well. So I guess he got out of erection duty somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Why is it that White Blood Cell is always the best character in like any cells at work? I thought he said he was going back to the lungs. <laughs> Maybe he went back to the lungs for this. Alright, here we go. I guess that was an outbreak break in the middle there. That was a bit odd, but whatever. Oh shit, here we go. Oh damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's actually quite epic for what it is. Oh, what's wrong? Cyclic GMP. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not able to get it up. Oh boy. Hmm. Too stressed. Yeah, I'm really overusing what the cell. 
Mm-hmm. Yep, right saw this function. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Viagra? Viagra, almost certainly. Ah, uh, specific for ED, okay. Yes, Viagra. Okay. And for all the medical terms, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know the medical terms of that sort of stuff. Let's go again. It's still too upbeat, though. <laughs> I believe you're about to meet a tissue, not an over. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Build up a pressure, yeah. But you could actually predict when you had a countdown like this in real life. <laughs> uh. Uh. Well... Because they'll never know what the result was, so... <laughs> yep. Let's do our job as well, yeah. Huh? They're getting cliffhangers? I guess he's technically released as a one-hour special, so it's not technically a cliffhanger, but still. Hmm. Well... Right. It's not all like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Essentially. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Trying to guilt trip me into... Yep. Gone lucky, okay. Oh boy. STI, STD, whatever. Not the music you expect after that episode. I mean, Gone Lucky is gone already, right? I mean, it would make sense if it was. All right, next time. You know, we've gone lucky, I'm guessing. Lovely. Okay. There's like another white blood cell is going to be involved. With an eye patch this time. Cool design. All right. Well, that's episode three. Now, in theory, I would go on to watch episode 4 here, since it's a two-parter. However, I don't have the time to do that. If I did that, I'd have to drop another show from today, and I don't feel like dropping a show from today, because I'm looking forward to Ramane, I'm looking forward to Horami, I'm looking forward to Skate. So, this is going to have to wait until, uh, like I said, Tuesday at the earliest. Um, we'll see what that ends up being, but... Who knows? Um... Who knows at this point what that ends up being. Um, 
But yeah. I think they made it a two-parter. Like, the actual process of getting an erection. Um, but I guess implying that... Well, implying that there was Gonoki. Because Gonoki is Gonorrhea, right? No. Is it not? I thought that... W I was fairly certain that was. Let me just find it again. God, Funimation's player. Hate it. Uh, gonna cocky. There we go. It's, it's not gonna knock it, it's gonna cocky. So it is, it is gonorrhea, right? Yeah, it is. It is gonorrhea, right? I'm fairly certain it is, anyway. Um, so yeah, more than likely, unprotected sex. Uh, at first I thought it was just gonna be jerking off, and I was like, if it was gonna be a self-contained episode, are we just jerked off and just discarded the sperm cells, and that was gonna be it. But seeing as there's an STI involved, it's probably unprotected sex at that point. So, yeah, because would you... T hmm, that's a good question. Definitely a question for guys. Would you take Viagra just to masturbate? Would you bother? Fortunately, I have never had to be in that situation. Might be showing a bit too much at this point, but eh, whatever. Um... Yeah, I, would you just take that just to just to masturbate, though? Like, it makes sense for sexual intercourse because you've got a partner there, you don't want to disappoint them, like... But still, just to masturbate, I don't know if I'd necessarily bother. It's like, oh, I just wait until I could actually get an erection properly and well, we'd see, but I've never been in the situation, so I guess I wouldn't know what I would do. So it's a weird one to talk about. Yeah, so it is, it is gonorrhea, essentially. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, we will we will watch that on Tuesday, probably. Uh, either Tuesday or Thursday, like I said. Uh, well, I'm going to try and get episode 4 and episode 5 done so that we can do episode 6 uh, on time this time next week, uh, which will still be two days behind the actual Funimation release, but I, I can't do any better than that at this moment, unless I try to move it. I mean... Either way, it would still be a five-show day. I'd either move it to Saturdays to make Saturdays a five-show day, uh, but then I'd have back-to-back five-show days, which isn't necessarily ideal. Um, but I like having it here because then I can do Cells at Work and Cells at Work Code Black at the same time, uh, which works out quite well. If I didn't have Jujutsu Kaisen carrying over from last season, I probably could have done Cells at Work and Cells at Work Black on Saturdays, but since Kaisen uh, came back, then I kind of have to at this point. Um, but oh well, I'm still enjoying this show a lot, learning a lot still, and uh, this was definitely a different episode because it was on a, a topic that normal cells at work probably wouldn't cover, uh, because it's just not in its theme to do so, uh, because if everything goes according to plan, there's not really anything of interest there, but Code Black, you have to have multiple things go wrong, like... Uh, not getting an erection, uh, the use of Viagra, the STI or STDs that uh, come about from it. It's like, Code Black was the logical conclusion, the logical show choice to include such a topic. So it makes a lot of sense that they did this. And making it a multi-parter that they broadcast at the same time, again, a, a very good idea. It's just a shame I can't watch it all in one go because, God damn it, I'm out of time. Anyway. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Leave a like if you did, as well as a comment on what you thought of the episode. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, which will actually be on Tuesday for episode four, probably. Uh, if not, it will be Thursday, but I want to get both episode four and episode five out on those Tuesday and Thursday time slots at some point, uh, just so we can um, be caught up for episode six uh, next week on Sunday. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.